Hi, this is Dr. Ben Morrill. Welcome to episode 28 of Reptile Genetics Weekly. Glad to have you here. We had a successful live stream last week. We got to talk about a lot of things. Thank you so much, those of you that that joined in live, and, and I'm sure many have watched it since. Uh, we had lots of good questions and, and good updates, and we'll kind of recap some of that today. Uh, it even got to the point towards the end, we even talked Sean into showing off some of his tattoos. Maybe uh, more than some people wanted to see, less than some people want to see. I don't know. You have to check it out for yourself if you missed out. But uh, we'll, we'll hit some other points on there that uh, are important things that are happening right now or soon and then that we want to see happen in 2024. So if you want to hear a lot more detail, we have the uh, that live stream from last week. And then Kayla and I will talk about each of them a little bit today as well. Um, but for updates, I uh, wanted to let you know the results for the latest run uh, started going out last night, actually. So it was, I, I did mention last week it would probably be Wednesday through the weekend. Um, but the first run, we split this this big run into two runs because <laughs> it was so big. So the first run, it's going to be single gene and two gene tests that people paid for. And uh, also catching up on um, some that didn't get like panels that we didn't get all the results for. We were finishing those up for people so you can get your full results. Um, so those are, started going out last night, Monday night, and are still going out today and, and may still keep uh, be going out tomorrow as well. And then for full panels that people sent in um, recently, like within the last couple of weeks, those ones will uh, all have results start going out probably a week from today. So next Tuesday or Wednesday, something like that, we'll have those results going out. And I do have the multiplexing for VPI, Azanthic, Cryptic, and Red Stripe working in the full panel now. So I'm sorry it took me a, a run or two longer than I expected it to, but it, it did work this last time. And so those of you that get results for your full panels in about a week, uh, as long as it works again for me, it worked this time and I, I should have it figured out now. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think that's what I have for updates. How about, how about you, Kayla? How are you doing? I'm doing great. Glad to be here as always. It's good to see you. You as well. Yeah. Um, so we're 28 episodes into this now. Um, we started, uh, this show reptile genetics weekly, uh, about six months ago, maybe something a little over six months ago now. Um, and so going forward, actually, we've been wondering, uh, like, what you guys have thought, you know, what's your, what your episode, favorite episode has been so far. Um, you know, let us know in the comments, uh, what's been memorable. What's been your favorite, uh, what would you like to see more of? Um, cause we'd like to do more of what you guys liked, uh, in the next, in the next six months or longer even. Yes. So. We definitely read the comments and yes. And, and we listen and, and adjust. So let us know, sound off in the comments, let us know what you think and what's, the best information you could give us right now in these comments is let us know what your favorite episode was and that'll help us figure that out. Absolutely. Um, so a uh, couple of the things that we wanted to recap from last week, we talked about uh, multiple smaller panel tests um, going forward, right? Yeah. Yeah. So as we brought up probably six months ago, probably close to the beginning of when we started doing the reptile genetics weekly show, uh, we brought up the fact that eventually we would have so many tests that we would start breaking the panel, the the big full panel that we have available right now, break it into smaller panels, and uh, that's we're still a plan. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're we're over twenty and should hit thirty here here pretty quick. So mm -hmm. um, we will start breaking them out into smaller panels. So that'll kind of change, you know, uh, what's what's available and pricing and things like that. It, it, it'll be. Uh, the best opportunity for choice that, that we can think of that works for customers and works for us to be able to get results as, as fast as we can. So we're yeah. balancing that and figuring out the, the little details on that. Definitely. Uh, I, I think some people asked about maybe uh, being able to split them up like into a, like a la carte style, you know, picking one from this, one from this, one from this. And I think that was difficult as far as uh, like um, programming it, I think on, uh, on the seller's side. Um, so that will probably 
I think they said that that's probably not going to be a thing for a while. Yeah, and and from from my side, running as well, that would be uh, a very difficult. I think on both ends, that's that's yeah. difficult. Okay. But if we have kind of preset groups of five to ten genes that kind of make sense, like a yellow belly complex and yeah. albino, ultramel, monarch, you know, an albino complex, a blue-eyed Lucy complex. Yeah. Um, some, something like that, maybe a recessive panel, uh, mm -hmm. incomplete dominant panel, whatever, whatever we can come up with that makes sense uh, to break those up. Because what I see when I'm analyzing these full panels is a lot of the time, there's only really one or two genes that the customer already knows the animal has, and then one or two genes that they care about. And they're like, hey, you yeah. know, we'll see if there's anything else there. Yeah. Um, but they have enough questions. They want a full panel rather than paying for a single or, or a two gene test. Mm -hmm. um, but it ends up being lots of negatives. So there's like, you know, 15 that it's negative for. So I think this will be a little, a little targeted better for, you know, using the, the space in the run. And then also for, for customers, you can choose, you know, the five that you're mo most interested in, or, you know, if you really are interested in 10, you can still get that, you know, yeah. it'll, it'll be a little, I think a little better and more efficient. And then also will help us. So we're less likely to have uh, runs where we have chunks of tests that don't work properly. The, the right. more we can kind of make the number of tests smaller, the better. So. Yeah. And more efficient means that results are probably coming back a little faster too, right? And less likely it will have to be a rerun and wait, you know, two to three weeks till the next run. I like All that. those things yeah. will get better. Yeah, we'll get the run times. It will get your turnaround time down. And so it, you know, it, it might not be perfect. There might be some applications where people will miss that full panel. Um, but hopefully we'll we'll be able to get the genomic registries eventually. And, and then anyone that wants to test for everything will have that option again. Yeah, so we'll see how it plays out. <clears throat> okay, good stuff. Now, last week, we also talked about some discounts for shed testing coming up soon, right? Yes. So yeah. we talked about that uh, briefly as well. So mm -hmm. it sounds like starting November 1st in both Clutch and Morph Market, we should have a, yes, great <laughs> we should have, have a Morph a, Market sticker on here too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I believe it's 5% uh, off and 10% yeah. off. Um, and the quantities I think are, are 10 and then a hundred. So if you're getting 10 or more, you'll immediately get a 5% off discount. If you're getting 100 or more, so someone that's producing several animals, and this can be any test. If you have, you know, five colubrids and 10 ball pythons, you you would get that, or five of each, you still get that discount at 10. Yeah. Um, or 50 and 50, you still get the discount at 100. If they're single gene, if they're multi-gene, it's just by number of tests. Mm -hmm. um, so and you can... get that five to 10% off, um, and then, during the parts of the year where uh, things are a little slower, we're willing to give you a further discount. And Sean said it'll be more like the 20 to 25% off. So, Ooh, so for that, cool. it will be a, you know, a pretty deep discount. You'd be able to get down to close to $50 a test for single gene tests. So if you're willing to either save your sheds until January, February, March, when things are slower, and pay for it then and send your sheds in or pay ahead. So you can yeah. definitely prepay. If you know in the summer you're gonna have 50 babies or whatever that mm -hmm. you'll wanna test, you could prepay and and then uh, once those babies hatch out, you can send them. You don't have to send them all at the same time. If you pay prepay for 50, you can send five or six at a time until you get through the 50. And so yeah, that'll yeah, be absolutely. Uh, so yeah, yeah, some the, people even order what, like six months uh, in advance or something because they know they have a bunch of clutches coming. So yeah, we we definitely see that. Yeah, 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 we definitely see that in the software. People will will work out what the testing that they want to get, and then uh, mm -hmm. the, Sean said he's still within the last month was still processing sheds that the order was made back last October when we first started doing <laughs> ball python oh, wow. testing. So so oh. some people actually a, a fairly large percentage of people are doing those early orders. Yeah. But this will give you a chance. You can have that order sitting there. And then when you see our discounts pop up, and you can jump there on it, it and get your testing at a lower price. So Yeah, it's a good but idea. Yeah. And then the other thing is we are going to get rid of the tax. So whatever yes. amount whatever amount it says, that's what you'll actually pay regardless of what state you're in. 
-hmm. So to this point, we've had sales tax on top. So for like a single gene test, you may see the base price go up a little bit. Like it was 65, it might go up to 70 now or 69.99 or whatever. But what you'll actually pay will be a little less because we won't have, I think for, for most states, most people, they're paying a little over $70 after the sales tax was added. Yeah. Um, now that's going to be taken away. So, so whatever it's listed as, whichever state you're in, you're going to pay the same amount. You don't have to stress that. We'll take care of that accounting on our side. That makes it so Sean's got to do more, more bookkeeping stuff, but it'll make it a little smoother for everybody else. Definitely. I believe in Sean. He can do it. <laughs> He's got a few years experience of that. Maybe one or two, you know, <laughs> a lot more than that, actually. Um, so let's see, we've got some slides. Uh, we have this a uh, couple of bearded guys here. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So we asked about more tests or faster and people said, ah, both, but uh, <laughs> both. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And, and that's what we want, too. Um, but yeah, we're definitely working on on both and on the faster front. Um, Patrick at the Tinley Reptile Show helped me uh, learn a little bit about some some coding that will help me get results faster, be able yeah. to process the the sequencing data faster. And one of the pointers that he showed me, I've of course heard of ChatGPT, but I'm mm -hmm. you know, I'm 42, I'm kind of in the older crowd, um, so I'm less adventurous. Mm -hmm. But Patrick is still plenty adventurous, and so he's already figured out how chat GPT helps them out. And uh, so I actually have been using chat GPT <laughs> since Tinley a few That's times. Cool. And I found it to be the most helpful when I'm doing some of the coding. A lot of the time, well, a lot of the times that I have a problem, it's some small thing that I messed up. And instead of having to go through every little thing and see where I missed something, now I'm just copying my code that's not working pasting it into chat GPT and saying, what did I do wrong? <laughs> oh, wow. And That's it's really it's a, handy. two or three times that I've done it now, you know, it kicked it back. It's less than two seconds. It kicks it back. And I, it has a little thing you click says copy, copy code. And I, I just copy the fixed code, paste it in. And, and every time I've done it, it's, it's fixed what I needed and worked perfectly like how I wanted it. So, wow. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I didn't realize so that, it could do that. Like that troubleshooting step, and and he uses yeah. it for for more advanced stuff. He can even say, you know, I want this certain kind of script, and he can describe it and make it happen. I'm I'm I don't know well enough what to tell Jack GPT, but if it's code that I know, yeah, works for something else, and I'm just changing it a little bit to work for what I want, then mm -hmm. I can do that. And then if it doesn't work, and I just throw it into Chat GPT and tell it to fix my errors and it's done. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Awesome. So yeah, already on this run, um, on the results, I just did it. It probably would have taken me two and a half days, something like that. It took me mm -hmm. only about one day because I had better code helping me uh, get through everything. So thank oh, goodness nice. for that. Thank goodness. Yeah. Thanks, Patrick. Thank you, chat GPT. <laughs> thank you guys. Yeah. Good. Awesome. I'm glad that you guys ran into each other at Tinley. That's amazing. Yeah, we'll keep making it better and faster. Good stuff. Well, let's see. We have some further updates on OD and Leopard, right? Yeah, on the more. So that was the faster side. Now the more more test side. Look um, at us Clutch. go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Clutch, I just got a message today saying Clutch added OD and Leopard as uh, tests that are available. So you should see those available now. Yeah. And I would imagine Morph Market will be pretty close behind. Yep. And we got a little something about... Blue -eyed, the blue-eyed Lucy complex. Yes. Right? So, uh, like I mentioned, this this run, this big run we had to do this week, we actually split it into two. And so, in the second part that hasn't happened yet, um, that uh, will run over the weekend, um, I will be validating the blue-eyed Lucy tests. And so, next week, if that all comes out well, uh, we may be able to start listing those. So hopefully within the next couple of weeks, those will go up as well. Uh, if things go well, I might have to tweak something. You never know. But but yeah, that's that's coming real quick, too. Awesome. And the validation phase, for those who aren't familiar with it, that's based, that basically means that the test is made and we're making sure that it is 99% accurate, right? Yeah, I feed it yeah. a whole bunch, like at least 100 that I know whether they're mystics or Mojaves or phantoms or super phantoms or bamboos. Or I know that they're not any of those. 
So it might just be a clown or a pied. I know, I know what the results should be a hundred of them where I know what the results should be. And I run the test on all hundred of those or 150 or 200, whatever it is I'm doing for the validation. It's always at least a hundred. Um, and so then when that comes out on the other side, if they match perfectly, then we go ahead and list those tests Ready. available. If not, then I might have to tweak something and, and do another validation run. So hopefully since, uh, Dr. Seidel already worked on this, hopefully it'll, it'll slide right through the first time. All right. Well, here's hoping, uh, hopefully. So do you think maybe we'll, we'll, we'll know uh, that it's validated by next show next week? Um, uh, maybe. maybe I'll get the data on Monday. So now that I can analyze faster, I might know by Tuesday, if we record again on Tuesday, yeah, I might Ooh, have it. That'll be exciting. So something to look forward to. Yes. Um, and next, uh, more about Ultra Mel B. Yeah. So we've kind of mentioned this a little bit, but we still have people ask questions about it. Um, mm -hmm. so Ultra Mel, if you pay for an Ultra Mel test now, or you get panel results that include Ultra Mel, um, we are testing for both Ultramel A and Ultramel B. So if it says negative, it's negative for both now. Ah, and, okay. Uh, I know that Morph Market has that test up already, and hopefully mm -hmm. uh, Clutch will have that soon as well. I think they were waiting until we had that all good to go, but we, we definitely uh, have been good to go for a little while now. So Excellent. Um, yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. If for some reason on a run, only the Ultramel A test works and Ultramel B failed or vice versa, uh, we may say negative for Ultramel B, but Ultramel mm -hmm. A is a rerun. But if we don't say anything about A and B, whatever we say, like if we say it's a HET, then it's, you know, HET for one or the other. If we say it's negative, it's negative for both. Okay. You can just assume we're, we're testing for both now all the time. Very good. So next, um, this is a recap of the stuff that we talked about in the live stream, but uh, um, this is something where we're trying to get, trying to work with you guys as uh, for sponsoring your own genetic tests with us, right? Yeah, yeah. So one one way to do that is if you're a ball python breeder and you'd like to have a new test, either something like monsoon that people were excited about, or it could be something new. So if you have a new mutation that, that you think and you've you've bred it several generations we have to have like at least 20 if not 30 or 40 uh, indiv different individuals that we can get a shed from before we can start doing a new test development um, we have to be able to map that new mutation on the genome of the ball python so we have to have at least 20 if not uh, it's best to have 30 or 40. Uh, yeah. So we did actually, since the live stream, I did have uh, some breeders reach out. They have a new mutation that they are going to send in. They said they've got 25 sheds and they've bred it for three or four generations. And so we may have the first one of those in the works here pretty quick. All right. That'll be cool. Yeah. And yep, I'm working so, on the webpage for it. So yes, yes, we will. We'll work on a, a website or web pages on the website mm -hmm. for each mutation. And this, uh, the, we call it a sponsorship, but it's really, I, I like it to be set up. And I think Sean's the same way. Mm -hmm. We like to be able to provide value to you. If you're willing to give us money to help design something and develop something new, we want to provide value back. And so it's really similar to Kickstarter where you're yeah. paying for a service before that service is available. And so you, we're going to offer um, up to a hundred uh, prepaid tests. And so if it's something like this, these, these breeders have a new mutation, I think it's three individuals. So they'll be able to prepay for up to a hundred tests and they'll get them at $50 a piece. So they, they'll get them a little cheaper and they will be the very first in line when that test is ready. And so they get it cheaper and get to run first. And then we'll also include their their uh, names and uh, logos on the web page. So when that new mutation comes, you know, we have a test for it. It provides an opportunity to kind of market that new mutation also. And you'll have your brand there. You have information about that new test and some pictures of that mutation and that morph. Yeah. And that'll always be on our website forever. So. Mm -hmm. And likewise for if you're uh, starting or, or kickstarting a new species. Uh, such as, you know, our longer term goal for hognose snakes, corn snakes and more. 
Yes, boas, retics, bloods. Yes. Yeah, there's lots of stuff that we want to do with other species. Monitor lizards. Yeah. Lots of cool stuff. And it doesn't have to be for a morph either. It could be for um, like stargazing in corn snakes. It could be for... Localities. Um, yep, localities. Could be for sex determination. If it's something that you... Like maybe you're in a, a Facebook group with people and you all say, yeah, let's make this happen. Um, we've had that happen with... With some tests we're still developing now with yeah. uh, uh, Madagascar boas, with uh, panther chameleons, mm -hmm. and with dry marcon, the uh, indigo snakes, and some closer related species in the same genus. Um, the, those are groups of people that got money together and, and got a, 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 a genetic test development project started. Mm -hmm. And in 2024, hopefully some of those will start uh, finishing up and make available. It's It's been a, a very long road to get to where we can do everything we, we wanted to, but we're getting there. And so we want to mm -hmm. open this up to more people, more species, more tests. And, uh, you know, any of these, especially if you're talking about with a new species, it, it's not going to be in the next three to six months. We have to start working on it and it'll be a year or two or three. It'll take some time, but mm -hmm. this will get you at the top of the list of ones that we'll work on. Absolutely. Well, awesome. I think that's all we had to recap uh, from this past week. So, uh, Ben, do you have anything else before we uh, um, go toward the outro? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't think so. I think okay. that's it. Just thank you very much for watching. We appreciate it. Appreciate the comments and questions. Um, definitely share and like and subscribe. And like we talked about earlier in the episode, let us know in the comments what your favorite episode has been yep. so that we know what to focus on creating over the next six months definitely yeah thank you guys make sure to like comment subscribe uh and um i posted a picture of uh ben's morph market account if you guys want to go check it out there you can also if you're in the market for a ball python or a honduran milk snake uh all the um a bunch of the proceeds like at least 50 percent go toward yes. uh genetic genetic testing possibly more uh <laughs> um for rare genetics so go check it out he has some cool stuff there um and once again thank you guys uh yeah i guess that's all we got <laughs> um that's it that's a wrap we'll see you next week outro in three two one